Well, good morning everyone. Welcome to the video. So I'm gonna show you what a typical morning here at the Albanetti house is. I wake up every single day, have a cup of coffee, a black cup of coffee before doing morning cardio. I do cardio just about every single day besides one day a week right now. I've been doing that for at least two weeks. So this morning, it's gonna be exactly the same. I'm gonna be doing about maybe 45 minutes to an hour of cardio, list cardio. And I'm gonna show you exactly what supplements I take before I'd go do my morning session of cardio and then afterwards show you uh, what breakfast I'm having. Today is not a very pretty day here in Austin, Texas, as you can see by the time lapse, but we're gonna go ahead and drink this cup of coffee and then get this cardio started. Done with the coffee and now taking all my supplements before going to do this cardio. I know it looks like a lot, uh, but this is what I take every single morning. Now I don't go do cardio totally fasted. I like to have a little bit of protein powder. So I'm gonna have just like not even a quarter scoop of protein. So that's gonna be about maybe 10 grams of protein, not much. This is just to kind of help protect muscle mainly. So just about that much of a scoop, not much at all. And I just mix it into a bowl and have it like a pudding. I don't even drink it in a protein shaker. And then I have this HydroxyCut Lean X. This is one of their stem free fat burners. The reason why I take this over like a HydroxyCut, a regular one, is because the regular one has like 290 milligrams of caffeine and I just got done drinking a cup of coffee and that would just be too much caffeine. So that's why I like taking uh, this hydroxy cut over the other ones. Now, if I woke up in the morning and did not have a cup of coffee, the other ones is what I would be taking. And then I also take one of these CLA pills with the hydroxy cut. And then for uh, my shaker bottle here, I like to have about a scoop and a half of the amino build. Uh, and I sip on that throughout uh, my cardio session and then I'll add about five grams of glutamine to that as well. So I have this whole shaker cup filled with water and just mix uh, the scoop of the glutamine, scoop of amino build, and then I sip on this throughout my workout. So we're gonna go ahead, head down and get on some kind of cardio machine. I'm about to head out the door to do this cardio, but I wanna show you a couple of things that I use while doing cardio. Now, first off, I have a Fitbit. This is the Fitbit Blaze. I've had it for maybe two years now. Uh, it's not that accurate as far as keeping up with my heart rate, but it is good with keeping up with my time because I like to switch uh, from different cardio equipment, like the cycling bikes and stuff, and they don't normally keep up with the time and like the rower, so this thing is good to keep up with time. And then my friend Santi sent me over this waist taper. This is from his company Paragon Waist Taper, and I've been using this for about maybe, I don't know, a week and a half to two weeks. Now they have all kinds of claims on these things saying it'll make your waist smaller, I don't think that's true. All the research and stuff that I've uh, read, uh, you know, it doesn't really do that. But for me, it helps keep my back straight and so my back doesn't hurt during cardio and it keeps my core tight and warm. And it makes you sweat a little bit more. I like using it during list cardio. Now when I do hit cardio, I can't wear this thing because of course you're wanting to twist and you're wanting to sprint and stuff. But with list, uh, when I'm walking and stuff, it's actually good to keep my core tight. So if you wanna check this out, you can check out his company. Uh, it's an awesome waist taper. I've used a few uh, throughout my career and this is definitely the best one I've ever used before. So now I'm back home and I just got out of the shower and now I'm about to have breakfast before I have to go work out. So today I'm working out at New Fit at 11 o'clock. Right now it's 10 o'clock so I have to hurry up. So I wanna have oatmeal this morning. Uh, I typically have a high fat, low carb, high protein breakfast. But today since I'm working out just in about an hour, I wanna go ahead and have some carbs. So I'm having a cup of oatmeal and it's cooking over here right now. And what I put in my oatmeal, let me show you. I put half a cup of egg whites in with my oatmeal. So it cooks in my oatmeal. It gives it more volume. And I actually like the taste of it. And then I add about a tablespoon of stevia. And then of course some cinnamon. I absolutely love cinnamon. Uh, some pink Himalayan sea salt. 
Uh, and then I will add about a tablespoon of peanut butter, so about half a serving of peanut butter, and then I add a scoop of this Nitrotech Way Gold, the funnel cake flavor, in with my oatmeal, and then I'll also add about 40 grams of blueberries. So I'm gonna cook this really quick, and then when it's all done, I'll talk to you about the supplements I take with my morning breakfast. The oatmeal is complete. I'm gonna eat this really quick because I got about maybe 15 minutes before I have to leave. So the supplements I take in the morning is really just for health. Let me open one of these things up. I use this pill container, it's so nice. I have two weeks worth of pills in here. So it's very nice to keep up with so I don't have to pull out all these pills every single time I need them. So right here I have like calcium, magnesium, I have a multivitamin, vitamin C, fish oil, vitamin B, and that's pretty much it. This is everything that I take in the morning right here. I get all these pills from bodybuilding.com and Muscle Tech has the multivitamin, the fish oil and stuff like that, so I take those. Uh, with my breakfast, so I'm gonna sit here, eat this, get ready, and then we're gonna head to New Fit. So before I leave, let me show you what I'm taking for pre-workout. I'm taking the pre-build by Muscle Tech, the gummy worm flavor. I'm gonna have a scoop in my shaker cup and about five minutes out from New Fit, I will drink it. New Fit's about 25 minutes, so if I drink it right now, I'm gonna be sitting in traffic going crazy. And then I'm also taking the Clear Muscle, four tablets of that before going. Uh, I'm gonna take that right now because you're supposed to take it about 30 to 40 minutes before your workout. So I'm gonna take this and now we're gonna head to New Fit. Today is gonna be a shoulder day. So I actually just got done working out at New Fit doing a shoulder workout and I did not film it because of two things. So Malik, the guy that personal trains me here, actually forgot that he texted me the other day and told me to come in at 11 o'clock. But he ended up having two other people uh, coming in at the same time today. So I show up and I'm not even sure if I was gonna get personal trained or not. I was like, uh, because most of the time when I come in, it's one-on-one -on -one personal training. But anyways, he overbooked. And so he ended up getting me in, but he was not able to film. And the other reason why I didn't film is because you guys already saw a shoulder workout in my last vlog. So I'm so glad that I have some videos already recorded and workouts already recorded. So I'm gonna show y'all a back workout that I filmed I think maybe like a week ago. So I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you after the workout. What's going on everyone? Hope you're all having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. I know this video is super long, but I hope you're enjoying the video so far. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this back workout. So I started off with ring pull-ups. Now if your gym does not have rings, uh, that's totally fine. You can do neutral grip pull-ups. I did five sets of around 10 to 12 reps. After that, went into wide grip lat pull downs. I did five sets of around uh, eight to 12 reps. And on the last set, did a double drop set. So the very first set was around 12 reps. And then after that, you know, went heavier in weight and then finished off with like a few sets of eight reps. And then, like I said, on that last set, just dropped the weight by around 20 to 30 pounds and then went for another. Uh, four to six reps just uh, to failure and then did that double drop set after that went into dumbbell rows and as you can see here I'm doing a different motion than like a typical row I'm kind of doing a swinging row so I'm going all the way down making sure I'm stretching all the way down coming up squeezing the whole entire time so I'm keeping tension uh, on the back the whole time so I'm not going up and just letting the dumbbell uh, go down. I'm actually controlling the weight down. So squeezing that whole time, I did uh, right at four sets of 12 to 15 reps and on the last set did a double drop set. Now the gym I'm currently working out at only goes up to 100 pound dumbbells. If I was working out the other Gold's gym that I work out at, they go up to 160 pounds. So I would have actually went heavier for less reps, right around uh, 10 to 12 reps. But because the gym, like I said, only goes up to 100 pounds, uh, that's why I was going for those 12 to 15 reps. After those uh, rows went into wide grip T-bar rows, four sets of 10 to 12 reps, and on the last set did a single drop set. Now, 
throughout this t-bar row what I'm trying to focus on is stretching down and then pulling up squeezing up at the top trying to bring my elbows back as far back as possible so throughout this back workout you want to make sure you're controlling every single rep and use a weight that you're able to do a good form on a lot of people have trouble working their back because they go too heavy so make sure you're using the weight that you should be using that you're feeling throughout every single rep so after those t-bar rows went into a machine row now this is a little bit different I have that seat really low and I'm doing a high row I did four sets of 10 reps and on the last set did a single drop set after that went into reverse grip lap pull downs four sets of 10 reps and on the last set did a single drop set now what i'm trying to focus on here is stretching up at the top and then going down pulling squeeze down at the bottom and bringing my elbows down as far down as i can after that now went into bent over barbell rows something i typically do at the beginning of my workout but wanted to change things up and do it at the end of it so i did four sets of 12 to 15 reps so nothing too heavy i was trying to do perfect form on this so going down stretching uh, and then going up squeezing bring my elbows back making sure I have really good form on this and the last movement was a little bit different you probably never seen me do this before it's a reverse plank bodyweight ring row so just going to complete failure and doing burnout sets I did uh, three sets of these just until failure so uh, you know no weight at all just body weight just pulling myself up trying to get as much blood into the back as I you know possibly can after that long workout this is an extremely hard workout if you want to give this workout a try scroll down to the description box it will be written out down there but I hope you enjoy the rest of the video thank you so much for watching Got in a couple of packages, and I'll show you what they are in a little bit, but first I wanna show you the supplements I'm taking post-workout. So for post-workout, I'm taking the CellTech Hyperbuild. This is a Muscle Tech creatine supplement. It's right at like five grams of creatine. I put this in my shaker bottle, and then I'm also gonna add five grams of this Muscle Tech glutamine, just to help with recovery a little bit. And then for protein, I'm gonna have the NitroTech Iso Whey. And I'm gonna make it into a shake, but I have to blend it inside the bathroom because Mr. Brady is asleep. And anytime I use a blender, he seems to always be asleep and I never can use it in the kitchen anymore because it will wake him up. So for my protein shake, I use a Ninja a blender. So this is the tall one. I'm gonna add right at eight to 10 ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Almond milk is incredible, I'm telling you so much better than water in a protein shake in my opinion and then i'm going to have two scoops of this nitrotech iso whey this is their new uh, protein powder it is pretty much just protein i mean the macros on is 100 calories per scoop it's got 25 grams of protein only like less than a carb and zero fat so pretty much all protein right there and it's very fast to absorb in your body so that's why i'm using this protein right after a workout because it's great to have And then I'm also gonna add some salt. I love salt in my protein shakes. I know it sounds weird, but it gives it so much flavor. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of stevia to give it a little bit of flavor because I'm gonna fill this thing up with ice. So that is tons of ice in this blender. So before I put the ice in this thing, you want to shake it up a good bit because if you put ice in it, before you shake it up, it does not blend very well at all. So shake it up let it settle and then fill it up with ice and then blend it up. So I'm gonna fill this thing up with ice. I'm gonna take this in the bathroom, blend it up and I'll show you what it turns out like. So many things in your life change when you have a baby. So now let me show you this protein shake. It turns out so delicious. It's like ice cream. Check it out. 
So I'm gonna eat this whole entire thing. What's so nice about the shake is it's only like 250 calories because two scoops of that protein is only 200 and then almond milk. So this is super low calories, but you're getting plenty of protein post-workout. And it's so delicious. So now let me show you what is in these packages. So the first one here is from a friend of mine, Brandon Foken, and he started a new company called Foken Nuts. So this is all kinds of different nut butters. And they're little samples right now. He said he's gonna let me try these and pick what ones I like and he'll send me the big ones. But check them out, they're little bitty things of peanut butter. So these are different flavored uh, kinds of peanut butter. This one is cookie dough. So it has, oh wow, it has like chunks of cookie dough in there. And they also have crunchy nut butter. So I guess that's just like peanut butter, but it's crunchy. Uh, I have cookies and cream, which is probably amazing. And uh, brownie, oh yum. And then the last one here is smooth nuts. Now I'm a crunchy fan of peanut butter, so my favorite one's gonna be of course the crunchy ones and stuff that has uh, stuff in it like the chocolate chips and stuff. I'm not much of a smooth guy, so I'm not sure what we'll do with this one. So if you wanna check them out, you can search them on Instagram, Folk and Nuts. Now the macros on them, they're all different because of course they're all different flavors and they have different ingredients in there. But for the most part, they're about 180 calories per one ounce, uh, 14 grams of fat, uh, 10 carbs and protein is six. So it's not one of those protein nut butters. I'm not a big fan of the protein nut butters because I already get enough protein through my protein powder and chicken and stuff. So I would rather have protein elsewhere and not in my nut butters because most of the time when I have peanut butter, I mainly just want fats. So that is that package. Let me show you the other one here. This is from my sponsor, Zivi. They sent me all different clothing because I'm gonna be doing a photo shoot here in the next like maybe week or two with them. It's a photographer here in Austin and they want me to do a photo shoot with uh, him to get some photos for him. So this is a lot of the clothing that I already have, uh, tank tops, short sleeves, uh, long sleeves, all this stuff right here. If you wanna check out any of this stuff, you can scroll down to the description box, go to zv.com and use my code ABLE and you'll get like 20% off. And he sent me some new shorts and I really need some new shorts right now because I'm doing cardio every single day. And a lot of the times I don't wear ZV shorts doing cardio because I would rather wear them uh, during my workouts throughout the day. So yeah, that's the two packages. Now, it is around 1.38. Mr. Brady's gonna get up here in a little bit, I think, and then Shelby's gonna go to the gym uh, when I get some work done on the computer and then I'm gonna eat another meal about one hour from that protein shake, and that is gonna be like a chicken meal, so I'll show you what that is. Check it out, the team over at Bodybuilding has way too much time on their hands. <laughs> this is from one of the editors over at Bodybuilding.com. <laughs> what the heck? So now it's around three o'clock, a little bit later than what I would normally have my next meal after my post-workout shake, but it's because I am watching uh, Mr. Brady right now. Shelby took off to the gym and he woke up right before she started to leave. So I've been watching little man over here. He's been doing good. We've just been sitting down playing. Say hello, Brady, say hello. And he's playing with all his trash. We got the bottles, we got the solo cup. Those two things are his favorite toy, aren't they? Aren't they, Brady? Play with your toys. Here, play with your toys, play with your book. And I am in the process of cooking my next meal. Let me show you what it is real quick. So I'm using the air fryer. I'm telling you, if you don't have an air fryer, you need to get one. It is the most incredible thing ever. We cook all our chicken now, we cook all our vegetables in this thing. So I have some frozen broccoli here. I'm just gonna pour it inside this container. And all it is, you just pour whatever you're cooking inside of the air fryer right there and you fry it up. It takes no oil or anything, so it's healthy. And I eat a lot of broccoli. Broccoli's probably one of my favorite vegetables, green vegetables out there. Uh, over green beans, over everything pretty much. Broccoli is always my staple. So about that much broccoli right there. And all you do is stick it in the air fryer. 
you push a couple of buttons and it cooks for about 15 minutes and then it comes out amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and fry this up and then add some chicken and that's gonna be, I guess, a late lunch because right now it's like three o'clock. So I was wrong having chicken with this because Shelby must have ate all the chicken. <laughs> so I like to cook about maybe two days worth of chicken and she has salads for lunch. So I forgot about that. So she ate all the chicken. So. I'm gonna cook up some turkey meat. I had some turkey meat that I bought uh, like over the weekend. And I like to have turkey meat every once in a while. Uh, it's not one of the staples for me. I'll eat it probably like maybe once or twice a week, but for the most part, I eat a lot of chicken. I'm cooking at 99% turkey meat right now, so very low in fat. And let me show you something else that I love when dieting is dill pickles. These things, are amazing. Anytime I get hungry, I'll just get one of these out. Uh, for one of these, it's only like one carb. So amazing when you're dieting. Yes, it has a lot of sodium in it, but for the most part, I don't give a crap about sodium. I have so much sodium in my diet. It's great for working out, it's great for the pump. And if you drink a lot of water, it's really not gonna harm you. So now Brady wanted to sit up here with me, so he's watching me cook. Say, hey. <laughs> he's like, give me some food, Dad. He's getting hungry. Mommy's not here. She can't feed you yet. I know you want food. I know. It's coming. It's coming. The broccoli just got done. Check it out. It's like nice and charred. Delicious. So I have right at four and a half ounces of turkey meat, ground turkey meat that already weighed right here. So I'm just gonna stick this on the side. And then to season the broccoli, all I'm gonna do is sprinkle some of this Himalayan uh, pink salt on it and that is gonna be my late lunch and then also probably some mustard on there as well on the turkey meat so just get some mustard on there and that is late lunch so since we're out of cooked chicken I thought might as well show y'all how to make some delicious air fried chicken <music> So the seasoning I use is this sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is from G. Hudges, a uh, honey flavored, amazing stuff right there. If you can get this at your grocery store, I highly recommend it. The macros on it is two tablespoons and only 10 calories, zero fat and two carbs. Stuff is amazing. And then I will put this on the chicken first and then I will sprinkle on some seasoning salt after that and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do this. So all I do first is prep the chicken by making sure I get off most or all the fat uh, off the chicken because I don't like chicken pieces that have like this white fat all over it and stuff. It doesn't taste good to me at all. I know some people eat that crap. No, not me. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep the chicken. And this one's pretty good. This one doesn't have much fat on it. So I'm gonna do two chicken breasts right now because that's all this air fryer will hold, it's not a very big one. I wish we had a massive one so I could cook like a whole thing of chicken, but for right now, all we have is a smaller one until we get a house. And I'm probably gonna get another one or a bigger one. <laughs> so after you prepped your chicken, all you have to do, get the barbecue sauce. I like to stick the barbecue sauce on a separate plate. I use this little paintbrush doohickey. I will just paint the barbecue sauce on the chicken. All right, so after you paint the barbecue sauce on the chicken, then we're gonna use the seasoning salt. We're just gonna coat it with this. That looks good. And then flip it over, do the exact same thing on the other side. Then all you do is just stick it straight in this air fryer. And all this thing will hold, like I said, is just two chicken breasts because it's not all that big right here. And all you do is stick it in the air fryer. It already has a preset for chicken. There you go, it's at 360 degrees for 20 minutes. And what's so nice about this air fryer is all you have to do is stick it in there and not worry about it for this 20 minutes. So after this gets done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prep two more chicken breasts. And so when these get done, I stick these in the refrigerator and then I'll throw in another two on there for like the next day and stuff. So this thing, I'm telling you, 
is a time saver, plus it tastes amazing. So the chicken just got done, check it out. Look what it does to this chicken. It like broils it, oh man. If you could smell this, it'd make you wanna slap a baby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, it smells so delicious. <laughs> Shelby looked in here. <laughs> no, it does, it really does smell amazing. So I'm gonna stick this one in the refrigerator and then cook the rest of these chicken breasts. <laughs> He's not gonna do it like he was. <laughs> I'll have to show you guys on Instagram. I did some Instagram videos of him laughing. So the video is gonna be like vertical, but it is hilarious. He's definitely a boy. So we're about to head out to go to uh, Starbucks, I believe, get some coffee, and then we gotta go to that HEB. This is what we do on a Friday. Check it out. <laughs> He's like looking at me each time I talk. Check it out, me and Brady. Yeah. Sort of match with our Converse shoes. Say, look at my baby, styling, <laughs> styling. Oh, you gotta show the other side. These are actual Converse, legit Converse, baby. Oh yeah, he's in style. We keep our son in style, don't we, Brady? Don't we? Now we need to get you some ZV shirts. So now we're out in the car about to head to Starbucks. Today's video was going to be all about how bad it is to get into single digit body fat. But today's not been that bad because I've not worked out as much as what I typically do. So to get down to, you know, 5% body fat, 6% body fat, uh, your body doesn't like to do that. Like it's unhealthy. You can't live like this long term. Now I can live about eight to 10% body fat year round if I wanted to. Now I don't really want to because I'm trying to build muscle and I'm a natural athlete. But when you try to get past like eight down to like 4% body fat, your body hates it. For a guy, your testosterone drops, your hormones are just horrible, and everything's messed up. Your sleep is horrible. Uh, your energy throughout the day just sucks. Today was gonna be me kind of showing you how bad it is, but honestly, I've not felt that bad because I have not worked out like I have been doing for the past two weeks because I go to New Fit uh, once every week. When I go to New Fit, it's only for one hour workouts, and then I go and do cardio that morning. So max is like an hour and 45 minutes to work out but I typically right now been working out for about three and a half hours a day so I'm gonna have to vlog another day when it actually really does suck So a slight change of plans, or actually it's a big change of plans because Shelby wants to go Easter no, shopping. No, I don't want to. We have to. Oh, we have to for next week. Want. Easter's next week, Easter's right? Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. We have time. Why are we going today? What did I just So she wants to go in there and check out Easter clothes. I don't want to. Oh, uh, okay. We're going in there to check out Easter clothes. I don't want to. Ten times more than she doesn't want to. So Brady already has his, so I need to find, I don't know, a suit or a shirt that goes with one of my suits that I already own. And Shelby needs to find uh, a suit as well. Oh, what? So we shopped around for about an hour. Uh, Shelby found her dress and I found me some pants, possibly. Uh, not sure, uh, because the sizing wasn't great. Uh, they're a little bit too tight. We bought them anyways because they didn't have the size I needed and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to make them work or not. If I don't find anything else, then that will do. Uh, Shelby still has to go back sometime and look for shoes and jewelry and stuff. But I still have to find a shirt and a tie. So we're gonna do that on a later date because Brady's getting frustrated and I'm getting frustrated and I'm hungry and we gotta go by the grocery store to get stuff for salads and Brady's gonna be screaming. Our pet's heads are falling off! So we gotta get home quick. So you know how I was saying I wasn't feeling too bad? <laughs> Everything has changed. I guess when I get really hungry, I start dying. I'm dying when very quickly shopping, right now. Was well, shopping, yeah. That's frustrating. But no, I'm dying like energy-wise completely because when you get lower in body fat, 
uh, your energy comes from your food and when you're not eating every like three and a half hours or something uh, your energy will drop tremendously and that's what it is right now so we got to hurry up and get home so I made it back home and it's eight o'clock or 8 20 right now I'm still not eating dinner starving to death we're having the salads that we had in my last vlog and Brady is just not having it right now the huge salads got a whole thing of lettuce here and then all the toppings lined up over here so I'm about to just tear into this and make some delicious salads we got avocado egg we have onions olives bacon chicken yes cheese somewhere we got to get the cheese a few moments later the monster salad is complete oh my gosh I cannot wait to eat this I'm starving so me and Shelby finished the TV show that we've been watching it's called uh, designated survivor and we got done with the second season and Netflix picked it up so they're gonna make a third season but it left off in like the worst part ever so now we're gonna have to find another TV show to watch because that's pretty much all we do is just watch like TV shows and stuff so we're gonna eat this salad enjoy this Friday night not doing much at all so now it is 10 30 and we're about to head to bed we are such party animals on a Friday night <laughs> we sat down and watched uh, some law and order and that's pretty much it but it's a pretty good Friday night we sent Brady off to bed because he was really grumpy he was making some new sounds that I've never heard before I was like that kid's got to go to bed because he was like whining like crying I don't know what he was doing but it was something new so I was thinking about having one more meal because I haven't hit all my macros but I'm um, at right now I'll put all my macros and the calories up on the screen I guess over here somewhere but right now it's right at like 1800 which is not all that many my target right now is about 2000 so I'm about 200 off which is no big deal really uh, the protein was right at 200 uh, grams. Normally I have about maybe 250 grams of protein. Carbs was right at 87 and fat was 70. Now this is not including uh, the broccoli I had and it's not including uh, the actual lettuce. Those two things I did not calculate just because it has so much fiber in there. And typically I don't really calculate my green vegetables. Now maybe two weeks out, I'll start actually calculating my green uh, vegetables. But right now during my cut, I don't have to do that. and I'm losing plenty of weight just fine. So that's why I'm not calculating my green vegetables. Now, of course I'm calculating like the olives and if I eat some corn or something like that. But as far as like green uh, fibrous vegetables I don't calculate them uh, so that's gonna be the end of the video guys today's a pretty long one I showed you all the meals I had and I showed you all the supplements I take but I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give the video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time all right guys peace <laughs>